Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got a gorgeous rack of beef ribs. Just want to give them a quick flip and begin to remove the membrane from the back of the bones. They're generally too slippery to grip with just your fingers, so you want to use a towel, or in this case a paper towel, to pull it clean. Now if you notice, there's a lot of fat still left on the bigger bones here. If you're grilling face down or smoking your ribs, it's not a bad idea to leave this on. But I'm going to go ahead and trim and clean it up. Theoretically, it does add more flavor, but because I'm roasting meat side up, it's really not going to matter. Just be sure to score the bones after whatever you decide. Now just give them a quick flip back over and go ahead and season them with kosher salt and pepper. And this is really all you need if you want to bake, grill, or smoke your ribs. So once you've pressed all the seasoning into the meat, you're pretty much ready to go if that's how you like it. But a while back I gave you a recipe for my brisket rub and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that right over the top. There's just too many ingredients in this rub to not take advantage of and add all that flavor to these beef ribs. And if your ribs are still cold, it's not a bad idea to let these sit out until they hit room temperature and marinate with all that seasoning. Then you can just add it to a roasting pan, get it completely covered up, seal it, where it's practically airtight and take it straight to the oven. And I like to bake these at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately three hours. And when they're done they'll look something like this. And if you'd like you can eat them at this point. There's certainly plenty of flavor. But if you're like me and you want to take it to the next level check out this barbecue sauce recipe I posted a while back. I'm going to add this right over the top. Then just brush it in and spread it evenly. Then it's not a bad idea to go ahead and sink that sauce into those ribs with a little more baking. And I turn it up to 350 for another 10 minutes. You get the point. Not too shabby. But of course this is only the small side. And there you have it. Oven baked barbecue beef ribs right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.